If you've been involved in a serious accident where you have a brain injury, you probably have seen a neurologist who has made a determination medically that you have suffered a mild brain injury. Uh, the question then is, how does that affect what you do, what, how your mind functions, and all of the ways it may be manifesting itself in your life? How do you measure that? Well, that's the role of the neuropsychologist. They are a licensed psychologist with specialized training in the processing of the mind. Um, and typically, a person would be referred by a knowledgeable uh, neurologist to a neuropsychologist in order to measure the loss of brain function and how that affects a person's everyday ability to cope and function in life. So you go to the neuropsychologist, they spend a day or maybe a day and a half giving a wide variety of uh, Neuro, neuropsychological testing. They measure every type of loss of brain function from the various lobes of the brain and how that affects your thinking, memory, perception, reaction time. It goes on and on. And the neuropsychologist then takes the diagnosis of a brain injury and translates that into the actual loss of our functional ability to operate in the world. And so it gives your lawyer the ability then to um, translate your injury into everyday practical losses that will affect a person's ability to, to function, to earn a living, to interact with people, uh, and all the various things that make us who we are. And it's a very important integral part of putting together a brain injury case.